Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave, and right now I want to make a quick video on a saw I bought about two years ago, the Lortone Model TS-10. The Lortone TS-10 is a 10-inch trim saw. I was told maybe two years ago that the saw was going to be discontinued, which made me really want to pick it up because at the time it was about $280, give or take, and for a 10-inch saw I feel like that is an incredible price. The saw did not get discontinued. Today it's going for about $340. And they also sell a version with a blade and a motor and a vise that's going for a little over $800. I have a lot of blades and I have a lot of motors and don't really need the vise, so of course I bought the $280 version. This machine seems to be put together really well. I really like how like raw it is. They didn't paint it in the traditional lore tone blue. I love that I can see the welds and stuff. Has this really cool and easy, simple, no frills blade guard. It included a pulley for whatever motor you're gonna attach it to. However, the Arbor's kind of small and doesn't fit a lot of like the general, elect general electric and um, other Dayton style motors that I've used in the past. But it does ironically fit the Champion Juicer motors that I use a lot for my lapidary work and I find all over the sides of the streets here in Taos, New Mexico. Really cool that they included this. Since they didn't provide the motor, I wasn't expecting them to do this. This machine also included a guard that goes on the front of the blade that'll keep a lot of chips from flying up at you. This will not completely protect your eyes. You will totally want to wear protection for your eyes as much as you can. But it is nice, and I will definitely be using it. It included a warranty. It mentions stuff about, like, abuse and, like, neglect. You know, two things that I'm pretty well known for doing to my machines and my instruments and stuff, so I won't be needing that. Uh, yeah, and it also included an instructional manual and like a parts list. In here, it tells you roughly how to, you know, slab and trim. Mentions some stuff about assembly. Up here, it doesn't mention the pulley that it came with, but down here, it does um, mention the pulley. Oh uh, yeah, won't be needing that. I will not be using the Champion Juice motor that the included pulley will fit, but rather I'll be using this old motor that I picked up at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show for $25. I almost never buy pulley motors because I can find them so easily for free or next to nothing. But I bought one of these because I knew I was going to California after Tucson and I wanted it to run one of my machines that I didn't bring a motor for. So yeah. All right, folks, I got this saw bolted down using this old motor. There wasn't enough wood to bolt these down, but it's pretty stable. Good enough for the video. It's kind of my style anyway. So now I'm going to attach the blade. The blade I'm gonna be using is a Johnson Brothers 10 inch blade. I believe this blade is around 20 or $30, I really don't remember. But it's the green crimped diamond blade. I'm gonna put it on the machine. And then I'm going to fill the machine up with water until about a quarter of an inch covers the blade. This machine can use both water and oil. I'm going to be using water. It does say that when you are finished using water after cutting, to use this little plug thing there to get as much water as, out of the machine as you can when you're done. 
Then I'm going to put the top back on, screw it with the four screws, and then attach the splash guard. So there is this little hole here on top of the table. I imagine that's to allow you to add more lubricant like water or oil without having to take it all apart. But you could also lift it by this, so it might be intended for both, I'm not sure. You don't really want to lift it by this blade guard because it is super flimsy and I already had to like bend it back into place. Alright folks, so now I'm going to cut a few different materials with a few different hardnesses. I'm going to start off with the good old Taos County Lapidolite. This stuff is pretty soft, doesn't have a lot of mica, and actually grows with barrel, so it's a little bit harder than most Lapidolites. This is a good like example of a soft stone. Safety first. <laughs> Alright, easy as pie. Some beautiful Taos County Lapidolite. This feels extremely sturdy, stable, and precise. Totally love this saw. I don't know why it took me so long to getting around to using it, but I'm happy. Alright, next we will slice this table mesa jasper. No, that's bird poop right there. Ew. <laughs> I harvested this material with my good friend during last year's Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. This material is from somewhere just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. We had permission to go harvest this off of the folks land. Very cool. Very hard. I would say not as hard as like petrified wood, but definitely a good example for something a lot harder than the petalite.
All right, folks, that took longer than expected. But I don't really have the saw set up as good as it could be. In the instruction manual, it said not to have more than an inch of play in the belt. And I definitely have probably close to double that. This is what I'm working with until I get a bigger piece of wood to set this up a little bit tighter, which would give a little bit more power to the saw. But definitely good enough for me. I'm super satisfied. Here's all the paint from the brand new saw blade. That's fine. I don't like pretty saw blades anyway. If you would like to avoid having to find a piece of wood and attach the motor and do some trial and error like me, then you can spend the extra $400 to $500 to have it all come in one combo if you're a baller like that. But me, I want the best deals always. Pay $280 for this. And I don't mind having to play around with it and go to Ruben Medina's shop and make a nice big base for this. That's that. Very hard material. Pretty material. I have a bunch of this if anybody wants any. All right, next, let's cut this piece of aquamarine. I ruined this piece that was given to me during last year's Tucson Gym and Mineral Show. I really wanted to cut into it to see what it looked like. And instead of preserving the natural shape of the aquamarine, I cut off a side of it, totally sacrilegious. I should have just waited to get nice slices of this material that show the natural formation, but I didn't. So we're gonna slice it right there again. Very, very, very hard material. I believe this stuff is from Africa. All right, folks, this piece didn't take as long as the Table Mesa Jasper. It is a lot harder, but way smaller. And so it didn't take as much time. Beautiful stuff. I love aquamarine in every color. Very, very, very pale blue and green. A lot of grays. Love the rust. Pick this up in Kino. Friend gave it to me, I mean. But it was being sold at Kino. Anyway. And last but not least, we will cut something that this saw was made for, a very big rock. This is a soft rock. This is Brazilian serpentine that I picked up from Gem Center USA. It looks like it's fractured right there. We'll see what happens. But I picked up this saw, not only because I thought it wasn't going to be around anymore, but because I wanted to cut big things without having to run my slab saw. So we're going to do it. looks like it's just about the size of what this machine was made for.
All right, folks, definitely a lot softer than the last two materials, but it had a lot more cutting to go through than the last two materials. I love this stuff. Uh, about three or four years ago, Gem Center USA was selling this stuff for like $4 a pound. Now it's closer to five or six. Not too big of a difference. I love to hunt down the neon version of this, nearly translucent and a lot, lot brighter. But this stuff is awesome nonetheless, super easy to work and extremely profitable. All right. All right, folks, so that's a video on the Lortone TS-10 trim saw. I did forget to put on this belt guard thing that it came with, but I just found it. In my opinion, even at 370 something dollars, this is probably one of the best deals in the industry for a 10 inch trim saw. The $800 version is a very good deal too. High Tech Lapidary, a cab king company, sells a 10 inch trim saw that's made out of plastic. That is very good. And I would actually probably prefer that one over this one. I think that saw is going for around $700. Just so that you folks know, you can put smaller blades on this machine. You can put a six inch blade, you can put an eight inch blade. If you don't have any blades and you're desperate, you can run on down to Harbor Freight and pick up a seven inch tile saw blade, an eight inch tile saw blade, or even a 10. So if you only have enough money to get one saw and you have enough money to get a 10 inch saw, I do suggest that. You can put a skinnier blade on there for more precious material and finer trimming. Yeah, I absolutely love this saw. It's made out of fantastic components. The arbor is extremely true. I set mine up a little bit janky just to make this video, and it'll serve me until I can finally get a nice base for it. If you're interested in the TS-10C, the version that comes with a motor and a blade, I highly suggest finding Vince Allred of the Simple Elegance Easy Cab Company on Facebook. I believe he sells these machines and he'll give you a great deal. And he's a fantastic person and I highly recommend buying from him over a stranger online. If you would like to see some clips and some video of the TS-10C, the version that comes with the motor, the base and the clamp, check out Me Miner. I'm sure most of you folks probably already heard of him before. He's a fantastic YouTuber. And in his latest video, he's using a TS-10C to slice up some metal stuff. Great saw, great machine, great guy, and he makes it look a lot better than I do. Anyway, folks, I hope this helps somebody who is interested in the TS-10 Lortone saw. I had a lot of fun. Happy I finally got around to setting her up. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments section, all that good stuff. Until next time, my friends, I love you, and I'll see you soon.